But now we know that transporting all this food all over the world is really polluting the world. It's, it's doing damage to food quality, it creates food losses. So we have to find a different model. We have to bring it much closer to the citizens. And that's what we're showing over here. But that is completely different than it has been done ever before. So the biggest hurdle was to convince people that we should change this model. So what we say is we're utilizing the maximum column of the water. So underneath the water there's the floating part. Uh, and then we have a first layer that is what we call the processing layer. That's where we process milk into dairy and we process manure into new fertilizers to give back to the city again. And on the, th the second floor is our stable. And in this stable runs the 40 cows. It's highly automated with milking robots, with feed belt robots. These are animals that we all like and then we, uh, we like to see them in the meadow and then we bring, bring them into a very industrial environment and I think that's uh, something that many people think is not the right direction for livestock farming to go into. People will probably uh, want it, uh, uh, animals to walk in a natural, their natural habitat or something that, uh, that uh, looks like a natural habitat. We have rubber floors, so there's no concrete floor. We have more square meter per cow in, in, in the stable. We have rubber poles instead of steel poles, so everything not to, that the cows cannot hurt themselves. So we implemented really, really the important issues of creating an, an open stable um, because of animal welfare.